If the finals hopes of both these sides were fading fast, there was still the Bandage Bear Cup to play for, and the Eels were hunting early. Doesn't look that bad. Lasallo goes up right, makes a mistake. There's a try for Parramatta. Scored by Wasili. The video referee spotted a double knock on, but the Bulldogs were gifting the home side a wealth of possession through early penalties, and the Eels were knocking persistently at the door. Put a little kick in, there's a chance here. They're appealing for a try off horror. Bulldogs. Well, he's not going to the video referee, he's just ruled that the Bulldogs have forced this dead. Speaking of knocks, both sides were muscling up. And a little shoulder there on Hudkinson. Leathers him up a little bit from Hay. Ben Roberts gave the Doggies their first real time in the opposition half with a booming 40-20 kick. But the home side was finding it just as hard to convert possession into points. Canterbury have got a touch on it, have they? No, it's forced by Luke Burt. It looked all bad for Josh Reynolds when Mitchell Allgood lined him up. But the replacement hooker recovered to catch the Eels defenders napping at the play the ball. Here's a break and a clean break for Hutkinson. They're on their way for the try line. Passes to Reynolds. Reynolds goes away. And Josh Reynolds scores for the Dogs. Something had to break. And it was Parramatta that broke. That marked a serious change in momentum, the Bulldogs suddenly threatening at every opportunity. Lafay for right and right pursuit, he kicks in field, and oh, it's cleaned up and it's again just in horror. But perhaps unsurprisingly in the wet conditions, it remained a low scoring first half, the Eels trailing by six. The Bulldogs look to be steering the ship early in the second half when Ben Roberts' perfect wet weather kick foiled Luke Burt. Oh! Knock on against Parramatta. But instead of pressing the advantage, the Dogs handed it to Jared Hayne on a platter. Carriage intercepted by Jared Hayne. Hayne's on his way. He leads by at least 20 metres and they're not going to run him down. Hayne scores try number five in the last three games. And that was all it took for the pendulum to swing again. The Bulldogs under sustained pressure, but the Eels lacking in the final execution. He puts a kick in, Barber's there, Barber's going to be trapped. There's blue and gold all over the place. The relief for the home side came in the shape of another 40-20, this time from Trent Hodkinson. This is a good kick. It's a good kick. And Jamal Idris was solid in defence. Push him over the sideline. Yes, and he got Never him there too. The but the Bulldogs were dealt a blow when David Stagg went down in agony. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look good. With time running out and points hard to come by, the desperation of both sides was evident. Jared shaped a kick, then he changed it, decided to run it, puts a kick over the head, Turner goes back, it'll go dead, will it? No, Turner's going to be trapped, is he? No, he got around them, brilliant play. Now he's in the touch. Oh, my goodness. But in the following set, the Eels got it right. Jared Hayne takes the kick. Hayne's kick. Hayne's kick. It's there, it's a point to Parramatta. Instead of throwing in the towel, the Bulldogs went on the counter. Might have another, has he? Reynolds is over the line. Yeah, that'll be tackle four, check three. There's a blue a and points. white reception in there. But after a second look, it was clear the Eels defenders had done their job. The Canterbury boys were still in prime position, though. They give it back to Hutkinson, there goes the kick, and it looks good. And with the scores locked at 7-all, the battered players headed into extra time, the third golden point game within a week. Hodkinson had the first chance to break the deadlock. Got the kick away, and it is wide. And just six days after losing to the Rabbitohs in dramatic fashion, the Eels were dealt another stunning knockout blow. There it goes, off the boot of Hodkinson, and oh, got dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, what a kick. What a kick from Trent Hodkinson of 41 metres. The Bulldogs breathing a spark of life into their season and giving Jim Dimmick his first winner's coach with a one-point victory. Melinda Farrell, Big Pond Sport.